Hi, Courtney here from On The Go Boot Camp. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about motivation. Um, and I actually get asked this a lot by my clients, um, especially this time of the year. So I wanted to see, you know, what helps keep you motivated um, during the holiday season and how to ensure that you're going to your classes um, and staying um, eating healthy. Um, but first I want to talk about what motivates you personally. So let's try to think of like two to three things that motivate you as an individual. So I thought off the top of my head, um, three things that motivate me personally. Um, and the first one is my family and my husband. Um, the second one is you, our clients. Um, you guys think that we're the ones that motivate you, but honestly, you guys are what motivate us to get up every day to do what we absolutely love to do um, and to keep striving to do better so that we can um, provide to you guys exactly what you want. But lastly for me, and most importantly to me, is my Lord and Savior. But, um, you know, as we go through our day-to-day -day, um, activities, um, you might find things that motivate you and that don't motivate you, um, but you know, you might wake up one day and feel super motivated and wake up another day and not feel motivated. And honestly, today was one of those non-motivated days for me. It was a struggle to get up out of bed today um, and just didn't want to do it. But <clears throat> I got myself up, got ready for work, and I went in for our 10 a.m. class, and I was greeted with the warmest smile and the happiest attitude from a, a client and it just completely changed my whole entire day and it's truly amazing to see how other people's moods can affect you um, and um, can help motivate you to have a better day. So that saying of surrounding yourself with five people that you absolutely want to be like um, is truly 100% correct. You know, if you want to be around, um, or excuse me, if you want to be a happy person, then you need to be around happy people. If you want to um, go to the gym, then you need to surround yourself or be involved with a group of people that that's their priority is going to the gym. Um, and I find that this time of the year, um, people come up with the excuse of, oh, well, I have holiday parties or, um, you know, I have work functions um, with clients and, you know, we like to drink and stuff like that. And, you know, we'll always come up with an excuse for something. We're human and that's what we do. But I think that we need to just figure out, um, you know, how to stay on the right track. Um, and that during this time of the year, um, especially this time of the year with it getting colder outside, especially here in Chicago, although we have had a pretty amazing winter, um, you know, we just need to um, really just have people hold us accountable. I think that honestly is what helps keep us motivated. So um, first and foremost, holiday parties. Um, they're great. They're a fun time to go hang out with your friends or coworkers or whatever it is. But those are where we will totally derail ourselves when it comes to eating healthy and um, drinking too much. So first thing that I can recommend to anybody out there, um, and really not even just holiday parties, but just parties in general when you're really trying to stay motivated and uh, meet your goals that you've um, set out to meet in the beginning of the year, um, is always, always, always eat before you go to these parties. Um, that way, you know, you don't go into this um situation and you have all of this very unhealthy um, foods that obviously taste delicious, but um, you know, make smart choices. Take one plate, fill that one plate with little bits and samples of everything that's out and don't feel bad about it, you know, enjoy it. Um, and just remind yourself, hey, I didn't eat the greatest today, I need to make sure I go to the gym and that tomorrow's a new day. There's always new days, um, and tomorrow's a new day, so I'm gonna make sure I eat healthy tomorrow, and I'm gonna make sure I go to the gym tomorrow. Um, and then drinking, uh, you know, that kind of tends to be part of the fun of hanging out with friends and whatnot, but drinking is going to be one of the biggest setbacks on any kind of fitness routine. Um, and it truly, I think people don't realize that it's just, ton and a ton of empty calories. Uh, one beer alone, uh, especially craft beers, um, could have anywhere, you know, from 300 to 500 calories. So if you're drinking multiple of those an evening, just imagine how many un 
unempty calories it is that you're getting from these um, and all it's doing is spiking your sugar level and just storing belly fat. So if you are going to go, have one. Um, you know, enjoy that cocktail. Enjoy um, that one beer. Um, but just try to make the smartest decisions that you can when when choosing these things. Um, and I want to say probably lastly, the most important thing is is to find a good fitness routine that you absolutely love doing. Find a group of people that you enjoy being around. The gym shouldn't be a tedious thing that you have to go, oh, I need to go to the gym today. Um, it should be something that you enjoy doing. It should be something that you look forward to. Um, and I know that at OTG, we absolutely love um, the fact that we're a family and that um, you know you can go in and you'll see the same faces um, majority of the time when you're there um, and then you become friends with them and then you have that person to hold you accountable. Um, when you don't show up for class, you know that they're um, going to be asking you like, hey, where were you? Where have you been? And I just honestly think that, um, you know, having those things in your life, whether it's gym, whether it's friends, whether it's, you know, work, um, you just need positive people in your life to help keep you motivated. So if you need help being motivated, if you need help with figuring out what your fitness routine is or figuring out um, what the best eating options are during this time of the year, let me know. Um, all my contact information is going to be down below. And I hope everybody has a great holiday.